Hello everyone. Today, hear about a simulation case of the impact of carbide ceramic plate and the impact load. So here is the result, and this is a rigid ball, and the plate is carbide plate. So the rigid ball has a initial velocity of uh, 15 meters per second. And here, I will show you the animation and that. The ball pen penetrates the plate and the kinematic energy turned into internal energy and the velocity is has decreased to as we can check it so this is the velocity magnitude and here is the velocity in the z direction and the initial velocity is about 15 meters per second and as the ball penetrates the plate the velocity has decreased to about 4 meters per second but it has still a velocity and also we can check the energy curve and this is the kinetic energy curve and here is the internal energy curve as we can see during the short time between the contact or impact the energy decreased greatly and then the ball penetrates the plate and the energy don't get changed. So now let me show you how to create this model. Uh, first, we need to create the two parts. And the ball is discrete rigid body and glass is 3D deformable part. So We give it a name for undiscreet rigid check shear revolution and we can give this the dimension and radius. Because it has revolution, uh, it created by revolution, so it must be uh, on the right side. So I trim the left half, and then I revert for 360 degrees. So here is the ball, and. To mesh this ball as a structural element, I need to partition it. So I create three dead terms to partition it. The first, second, and the third. Then I This is three times.
so it has eight parts and then we can get it the structural mesh and the size is about two millimeter so this is the mesh I want I want and for the plate it's import simple too as we see here and the length is about 300 and the width is about 200 so after extruded the depth is 2 millimeters okay. I don't need it anymore for the plate I can also get the structural mesh the structural mesh and dimension element is 2 millimeters and get it meshed so this is the mesh we want and then we need to create the material property for the carpet flat and here we use the GHB model and here is the mechanical constants and create a solid section assemble it to the plate then we get into the assembly module and adjust the position as we want it then we create a step here it is explicit dynamic step and the simulation time is 6 uh, microsecond and the other option we keep them at default and the as for the output, we need to choose other variable items. And here, SDV and status. And the value. As for the interaction module, we need to create a surface to surface interaction, but the contact property we keep it default. It means a hard contact in the normal direction and no frictional no friction in the tangent direction. And we create the surface to surface contact. The master surface for the first surface is the surface of the rigid ball, and the second surface for the slip surface is the top surface of this plate. Then, in the load module, we need to make a con boundary condition and that is fixed at the full surface yeah so the plate is fixed at a rounded surface and the ball with initial velocity 
and the velocity is about 50 meters per second in the negative z direction here. So after we make the settings, we can go to the mesh module because we have uh, measured the parts already, but we need to set the element type. So as for the plate, the element library, we need to choose explicit 3D stress. Uh, the importance is here element deletion we need to choose yes so in the result we can see the cracks for the valued elements removed and then we can create the job and submit it it's about uh, it's about uh, 50 minutes to solve it, but it cannot be used with with the multiple process. So we can just use one processor. But the result we can create, we can get as we show you before. The bridge ball penetrated this plate and the steel has a little velocity. And this is the necess what necess stress and we can also the other variables the contact pressure and for this SDVs, we can um, know this during the GHB model, and this is the effective plastic strain. So we can know that the elements will be removed when it gets 0.2 for the effective plastic string and this one is <coughs> this is plastic string rate so it has a big value and the third one this is the damage initiation value and the fourth one is the damage value. So when the element is get a value and they removed, the value will be greater than one. And the yield stress or this one the material status index or the displacement uh, there's one thing I forgot to uh, to to is the mass of the spore because it is a rigid ball we need to give it a inertial um, equal constant it's about including the magnitude magnitude of mass and the rotational inertia uh, for rota for the mass of the ball it's about one kilometers 
and the rotary inertia here we get 0 0.001 so uh, this values were affect the rotation of this rigid ball uh, so in the results we can we can watch carefully for this rotation motion of this ball We can see it has a rotation motion. So this is the whole content of this tutorial model. So if you are interested in RBCE, Please subscribe my channel and give it a thumb up or leave any comment under this tutorial. Thank you for watching.